So they were playing. Mm-hmm. Prepare to play another team. Do you look at how big their wide receivers are? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I personally don't. I mean, everybody around the country has has big receivers. Um, you know, we happen to so, you know, play against one of them the first time, uh, 15. Uh, no, Kyle Dupree wasn't there the first time, but uh, 83 is kind of the same same size as far as height and weight. So uh, we kind of got a feel. And then also just playing in the Big Ten, I mean, you face these type of receivers every week, weekend, and week out. So, I mean, the size thing, it, it really doesn't matter. You either make the play or you're not. I mean, coach, coaches always stress, stress that you can overcome a size disadvantage by proper technique. But if a quarterback puts it up there, a six three guy. Do you have? Is there anything you can do? I mean, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of quarterbacks, you know, throughout the country. I mean, if they put the ball in a perfect spot, especially at the position that we play. I mean, okay. it's nothing you can do about it. But uh, you just got to keep fighting through it somehow, some way, make the play. Uh, you know, if you can get your hand in there, or if you can rip, be aggressive. You know, those are the type of things that you have to do, especially playing guys at a six three and that uh, that has bounce. What did you think of your visit to Lambeau in the spring? Uh, I was pretty cool. I mean, it, it is truly one of those stadiums that you know you can't be wild by. So, you know, I think us getting a chance to go there in the spring and you know, basically it was like getting acclimated. You know, seeing everything and uh, I mean, it's a it's a it's an amazing place. So, you know, I'm excited to play there. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just another stadium, and I mean, we got to take care of business. What have they told you guys about the limbo leap? If you're allowed to or not allowed to? Uh, we haven't talked about that. We haven't discussed it. <coughs> Coach didn't say anything. Nah, but I mean, I mean, it's a penalty, so why do it? You know. Um, we haven't really discussed anything about that. I mean, I think everybody knows celebration things with, you know, September. So, you know, why put your, your team in, in that situation? So no circumstance would you do it? I mean, I don't. Me, personally, no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, putting myself in that situation. After you win. After you, After you win, win, you know, that's a whole totally different story. <laughs> um, you know, as far as during the game, whatever, I'm not worried or concerned about Lambo and leaving. I'm trying to get a win. What do you remember from the first time, last time you played him, I should say? Uh, I mean, just a, a ground and pound team, uh, physical, um, a really good team. Uh, I think the, the biggest thing that stick out to me the most is, you know, they're not going to give up. I mean, of course, everybody here remembers the lead we had um, in that game. And, you know, those guys, they, they fought, you know, no matter the situation. A lot of teams, um, you know, uh, get down on themselves and kind of disappear. You know, they decided to keep it going and was able to come out with the win. So, I mean, I definitely know that this team that we're about to face, you know, they're not going to give up in any circumstances, no matter the score, you know, whatever it is, they're going to keep fighting. So, Jerry, what's the biggest difference for you this year? Because last year, at the end of the year, you had two guys in the back end at safety who had played a lot of football. You had Darius on the other side who had played a lot of football. Mm-hmm. Three new faces for the most part. But what's the biggest adjustment for you? I mean, I, I think the biggest adjustment to me is just been trying to just leave. Uh, show these guys that, you know, Darius Hillary, um, Michael Caputo, and uh, Tanner, you know, they were amazing players, great players, but there's honestly really nothing different that they do that, you know, that, that we can't do as far as a unit. I mean, if you're a playmaker, you're a playmaker, no matter if you played one game or no games. If you can make plays, go make plays. That's what you've been doing your whole life. So, you know, my thing has just been giving these guys confidence. I'm trying to lead them and uh, just having fun. I mean, it's my senior year. I'm trying to have as much fun as I can and, and tell those guys to, to enjoy all these moments because it goes by fast and, you know, when your time's up, it's up. So it's a good chemistry? Back yeah, it's a very good chemistry. I mean, you know, having Coach Leonard, is, to be honest with you, it's been, I think, the, the, big, the, the big point that's, that's brought us all together. I mean, him as far as just, you know, teaching us, you know, to be smarter as far as studying film and it puts us in a position where, you know, we can communicate and, you know, if this person knows what he has to do, he can help, you know, such and such if they don't know. I mean, everybody kind of knows everybody's position, you know. I know some of the calls that the safety need to make, and, you know, they know some of the calls that we have to make. So, you know, if we're ever in situations where, you know, we're going blank or something, and you know, people, say, you know, I don't want to be in that situation. But, I mean, I know that, you know, Musa or Dakota or DT, you know, we can all help each other out. So I think that's the best thing. Like I said, the chemistry is there. and. Uh, so in a couple of days till we get to show it. Were you a little concerned when Derek went down a couple of weeks ago or whenever that was? 